Hello friends, welcome to Oracle 23C AI new feature video series. In this video, we are going to learn about few of the new enhancements introduced in case statement and case expression starting from 23C AI onwards. So here is the snippet from Oracle documentation. As you can see here, the case statement is extended in PL SQL to be inconsistent with the updated definitions of case expression and case statement as per the mentioned SQL standards. So basically two new ch changes which you will start seeing from 23 AI onwards. One change is we can use the dangling predicate and the second change is we can use multiple values as part of the when class. I will show you an example for both these things but before that let's quickly check the syntax wise different with respect to 21C and 23C AI. So here is the syntax from 21C version and here is the syntax from 23C AI version. As you can see here there is a small change with respect to this when class. So in 23C there are two changes. One is like this selector value can be a multiple value and then there is a dangling predicate class included. This is what we are going to see as part of two example. So to start with let us write one simple PLSQL block to print the grade of a student based on the input mark. Suppose if the input mark lies within this range we just need to print A as the grade. Suppose if the input mark lies within 81 to 90 we just need to print the grade as B. Let us start writing this program in a simple PLSQL language in 21C and then let's see what new changes has been introduced from 23C AI onwards. So here what I have done is I have connected to two different versions of database. In the left side of your screen I have connected to Oracle 21C version and in the right side of the screen I have connected to Oracle 23C AI version. Right. Now let us write a very simple PLSQL block to print the grade based on this mark. So here is the PLSQL code, very simple PLSQL code. So what I did is I just initialized a variable called LV mark and I assigned with a value of 95. Then what I am just doing is and I just took LV mark equal to seal function of LV mark divided by 10. So in this case what will happen since it is 95 LV mark divided by 10 will give 9.5. So when you see apply the seal function this 9.5 will be converted into 10 and it will be assigned in this LV mark variable. So now if it is 10 we will just print A as the grade. Suppose if it is like let's say input is 85 then <coughs> my LV mark will be like 9. So in that case, if it is 9, uh, grade would be B. Like that, we'll just print. Very simple. Let me first execute this program. As expected, it is just printing the grade as A. Let, let me just quickly change this to, let's say, 85. I'm just re-executing this program. So if you can see here, it is just printing the grade as the B. Fine. Now let us copy exactly the same program to 23C AI version. Of course, the same program will work. There is no issue with this program. But now let's see what new additional change we can use from 23C AI. For that we just need to understand one small thing here like if you can see in the 21 version to print the grade C we have actually two statement if it is 8 or 7 we are printing the grade C. Same thing like if it is 6 or 5 we are just printing as a grade D. Similarly for 4, 3, 2, 1 we are just printing as a grade E. In this case even though to print the same grade we are using like multiple when classes. From 23C what you can do you can just concatenate or combine all these things into a single when class instead of two when classes here. Now let me show you the change in the 23C AI. Now if you see instead of 8 and 7 you can just remove the 7 and you can just make it as 8 comma 7. Same thing goes for 6 comma 5. If it is 6 or 5 then we just need to print the D so I am just removing this when class. Same thing for grade E, 4, 3, 2, R1, then grade E. So I'm just removing all these things, right? Now let me re-execute this program, right? Now if you can see here, it is just printing the grade C. So basically what we did is, instead of printing like two, or instead of having two when classes, we just combined this into a single when class from 23C AI onwards. So for example here also, instead of like when class, 6 and 5 we just combined into when 6 comma 5 same thing goes for uh, 4 3 2 1 like this so basically we just combined uh, the 4 3 2 1 classes into a single when class here so this is an example how to combine like multiple or how to have multiple values as part of a when class 
Now let us understand the usage of dangling predicate. Now the same example I just rewrote in a slightly different way. In our earlier case, we just divided this mark by 10 and we can use the seal function to convert into a number. Based on that, we just graded. But however, in this example, what, what I'm doing is I just took this variable and I'm just simply checking if the mark is greater than 90, print it as a grade A. If the mark is greater than 80, print it as a grade B. Right. Let me first execute and show you this example. So since the input mark is 80, we're just printing the grade as a C. Right. Now let me copy the same example to 23 AI version. Of course, this will work. Now to understand the uh, dangling predicate, I'm just doing a small change here. Instead of keeping the variable here, I'm just keeping the variable as part of the when class. I'm just removing all these variable here. Right. Now let me re-execute this program. Right. Now you can see it is it is working fine. Now, if you can see the change, instead of keeping the variable here, I just kept this variable here. And in this when class, we are just having this conditional check based on this LV mark. That means in this conditional check, the left hand side operand is completely missing. Greater than 90, only the right hand side operand is there. The left hand side operand is not there. Instead of that, the case statement will start using this LV underscore mark. So this is the usage of dangling predicate. Okay, now let me quickly show you the documentation. So here is the syntax from 23C. In fact, in the first example, what we have seen is how to use multiple when class as part of the how to use multiple values as part of the when class something like this so here is an extra example we have seen like dangling predicate usage as i told for the dangling predicate it will have only the uh, right hand side operator the left hand side operator is missing so here is the snippet from oracle documentation just to understand this dangling predicate in case if you have not heard this term dangling predicate already so here is the snippet the dangling predicate are ordinary expression with their left operands missing that can be used as the selector value so as i told in this case the left side operand is missing for that oracle will substitute with the lv underscore mark if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question skill practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video